The Furnace, one of Minecraft's most iconic and useful blocks, has become a weapon of war on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. You heard that correctly. This basic block is now an offensive weapon. How? How does something used to cook food and smelt blocks become a weapon? Well, on a server that pushes Minecraft to its absolute limits, are you actually surprised that players have discovered how to use it in such a way? The explanation behind how it works is insane, and in today's video, we'll discuss how it's being used as a weapon, why it's being used, and even log into the server ourselves to see it in action firsthand. Today's video is going to get crazy, so I hope you're prepared. But before we continue, I'd like to thank Dashlane for sponsoring today's video. As we spend more time online in recent days, it's more important than ever to protect yourself. Dashlane makes it easy to manage everything. They autofill all your personal info like addresses, credit cards, and passwords. They also have a VPN so you won't be tracked when you're browsing the internet and can access content in any country. They generate super secure passwords, plus the passwords that you do store with them are encrypted, making a password manager the safest place to store your info. The best part is, it's free to download and install on your first device. Click the link in the description to go to dashlane.com slash fitmc to begin. What are you waiting for? Now then, let me explain how the furnace is being used as a weapon. You see, since 2B2T's map has received an entire decade of punishment, it requires numerous plugins in order to keep the server running. One of these plugins is the Illegal Items plugin, which is meant to prevent players from having things they shouldn't have, such as 32k sharpness swords, or items not normally obtainable in survival Minecraft. Whenever a player is in a loaded chunk, the Illegal Item plugin begins checking every single storage block for illegal items. If it finds any, it either deletes them or reverts their properties back to normal. But the process of checking each storage block requires a lot of data to be sent. If too many storage blocks are in the same chunk, the amount of data being sent becomes too great and the player ends up being kicked from the server instantly. When you try to log back in, it kicks you again, right away. This tactic is known as a chunk ban and has been used with normal storage chests in the past on 2B2T. But recently, it was discovered that furnaces can accomplish the exact same thing even more efficiently. Even though the Minecraft Wiki does not list them, furnaces are technically a storage device, since you can place any item you want into the top of them. Because it's a one-block storage unit, and can be placed next to other furnaces, it's possible to put thousands of them in a single chunk right next to each other. Upon loading a chunk with these furnaces in them, you become chunk banned, and the only easy way to get out of it is to have the server's admin, Housemaster, delete all of the furnaces. So how is this tactic being used on the server itself? Well, this past week, a group of players began setting up a furnace trap at the ruins of one of 2B2T's more well-known bases, Ziggy Town. This is where some of the server's famous illegal bedrock structures from long ago are located, such as the Bedrock Comet and the Bedrock Bunker. Shown here is footage from Redstoner of the Chunk Trap being set up. As you can see, there are thousands of furnaces all being piled on here. They began advertising a Ziggy Town event promising free kits, food, and book trading for new and experienced players alike. They did this to draw in unsuspecting players so they could be chunk banned from the server. They set up a portal trap that would put players right next to the stack of furnaces. Anyone that went through the portal would be banned instantly. Housemaster swooped in to delete these furnaces, however, because furnaces are easy to create, it was quickly rebuilt and continues to trap players. So now, I'm logging into 2B2T to return to Ziggy Town and see just how effective these furnaces are. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to intentionally get myself chunk banned. Let's do this. I'm on my alt account right now, but the problem is, even though I've got a lot of totems, I only have one armor set. So if I get into an actual fight today, I'm not going to be able to last more than one or two minutes. But that's alright, I just want to be able to see this furnace stack for myself. 
I want to see if it's actually chunk banning. I recognize this area from the videos I saw of those innocent players getting led to that portal where they were then banned on the other side. It looks like they mined out everything in this lair to make it easier to travel. Now, the portal should be around here somewhere. I've located the portal area, but it is beat up big time. There's definitely been a lot of player activity here over the past 24 hours. Let's take a closer look to see if there's any portal still active. Eh, yep, I called it. Definitely still active. The only thing that seems to be left over is this shulker up here, so I'm going to take a look at it, see what kind of gear is inside, or even potential building materials like furnaces. Can you imagine if they left a furnace shulker here? That'd be nuts. Alright, so it's just typical gear, but hey, you know what? I just realized they've got chorus fruit in there, so let's use that. We could use that to escape if we get trapped. For those of you that don't know, chorus fruit are useful on 2B2T because if you log out and your logout spot gets trapped by obsidian, chorus fruit will let you teleport out as soon as you log back in. So it's a very useful fruit on 2B2T. Definitely. Gappling up so we can spring this trap. Let's see if we actually get chunk banned on the other side. Just popping out of the portal now, and I don't see any furnaces in render distance right now, which would explain why we haven't been chunk banned yet. But let's take a look around. I guarantee the furnaces have to be around somewhere. All right, I'm going to head directly towards the Bedrock Comet now. Okay, so there it is. They, I'm guessing they're pro... Oh my... Wow. That was fast. I can't... That, that was instant. Yep, I'm, I am chunk banned. I am now officially chunk banned. So it works. That's in, that's insane. All right, I'm going to wait a few hours, and I'm going to try to reconnect again to see if we can get back in. All right, I'm back on. It looks like the furnaces are gone for now, but we've got some company. Let me adjust my chat to make it smaller real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got a few bogeys overhead. So let's try and find where all of these furnaces are being rebuilt. Uh, yeah, I can't... Uh, oh my god, look at all these people. It's only a matter of time before they start attacking us, even though we're on an alt and they don't know it's me. Oh my god, do you see the furnaces over there? That, oh, wow. And yep, they're, they're starting to investigate me, so I better get over there and take a look at it quick. Because I have the feeling that we're not going to be uh, this peaceful for long. Oh my god. God, look at all of those furnaces. They are hard at work right away. They have not missed a beat. As soon as Housemaster removed them, they're right back at it. But this guy is starting to try to crystal me, so we need to be prepared for some combat here. And like I said, uh, just stay away. I'm not going to last much longer because I've only got one armor set, but at least I can try. I'm leading them into water right now. They can't kill me in the water with end crystals, but... They can continue to whittle away my armor with their melee weapons, and that's the problem. Eventually, they're going to destroy one of my armor pieces, and I'll be toast from there. So let's see if I can find a way to lead them a little closer to Bedrock, where I can at least try to do a bit more damage before we eventually lose our armor pieces. But man, they are just relentless. They will not stop. It's clear that I'm not the only person that has stumbled upon this place today. They must be used to trying to kill anyone they don't recognize that comes near the furnaces. They might think people are trying to destroy it to stop them from chunk banning people. Who knows? But we've got to get to the low ground right now to try and just make our final stand before disconnecting. It looks like, oh man, the lag is not helping things here. But it looks like we can get down this way. Actually, let's try to escape through the portal first. Can we make it in time? Are they gonna... Nope, that... <laughs> that backfired, and there goes our first totem. Yep, we gotta make our way down to the bedrock to see if we can make our last stand down there. Gapple up real quick. There you go. Get out of the way, creeper. It's business time. All right, yeah, I am outnumbered. There's at least three guys chasing me right now trying to kill me. Three on one. Eh, I've had worse odds on 2v2t before. Let's find a whole ESP to stand in. There we go. All right, come get some, you freaks. That's right. Who knew FitMC could crystal PvP as well? Boom! Got his totem. All right, I'm already popping totems. Look at that. This is going all right. I've put up a fight. I've popped some of their totems, degraded some of their armor. But as you can see, my helmet's about to break. And once it does, I am officially done for. So I did what I could on this account. 
but it's gonna be my end pretty soon. So I'll just have to disconnect when it happens. And there we go, disconnect. I'll log in in a few hours to salvage the account. This is the moment of truth. Are we still alive? Yes! On 2B2T, surviving is all that matters, baby. Now let's get out of here. I'm back on my main account right now, but all I can say is that the chunk ban is legitimate. Furnaces have been weaponized on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, and my only advice to you right now is that if you play on the server, stay away from Ziggy Town for now until this group gets bored and eventually moves on to something else. But we'll see what Housemaster plans to do about these chunk bans. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on when new 2B2T content and new Minecraft content is coming out. But that's it for today, everyone. Take it easy, and if you plan to play, make sure you stay alive out there.